So you read the title. So I was thinking about this, and I actually brought it up in a previous, like a WoW playthrough. And I was like, you know what? You know, sometimes we don't question any of the motives of any of these NPCs. They could go out and tell you to wipe out an entire species. And it's like, oh, well, I'm getting gold for it, so who cares? But there's some uh, NPCs that are just obviously evil, and yet you still don't have the choice. Um, now, if you were able to, it would probably be different. But, you know, you get into a town, think of it like, you know, it looks like almost like the eastern or western plague lands or something like that. You know, and you find this little town. It seemed like it was a big town at first, and now there's only just a couple families living there. And the first house you see, you go into because there's an NPC in there that gives you a quest. And the dude is clearly evil. Uh, and his name is like Kenneth, like evil or uh, like Sinister Steen or something. And he goes on and tells you the story. He's like, oh, traveler. It's been so long since we've seen a person like you in this neck of the woods. Not since the catastrophe ten years ago. And then he goes into a long story of, oh, it was terrible. The, the, the crops withered and the livestock died. And suddenly an evil swept over our small flourishing town. I think it was a family that lives on the outskirts of town. Ever since they arrived here, it's been nothing but misfortune for everyone. I want you to kill them. And if you do, you will be, be rewarded with 10 gold and a possible item upgrade. And you're like, okay. So you go to this house on the outskirts of town. And the family is like, oh, stranger, what can we do for you? What brings you to such a dreary place? And, you know, there's a wife and father, you know, a little child on the ground playing with their toy train set. And dialogue goes back and forth. Now, normally in like MMOs and stuff like that, when they're, you know, they're, you know, enemies and evil, it turns to red and you fight them. But no, it, it, it they stay green. Their names and everything stay green, which should be the first indicator. So you've just murdered their family, this family, looted their corpses you know, this father, this, this, this mother, this adoptive, adoptive, uh, daughter, you know, her family was murdered by the scourge and consumed and their, her town was destroyed and she survived. And this family was, you know, took her in after such hardships and you just murdered her. You go back to the guy, Mr. Mr. Kenneth Sinisterstein, and he's, oh, Thank you, Traveler. For ten years I have lived in this house, fearing to go outside, but now I can step outside and feel the rays of the sun on my skin once again. He rewards you. But then, it's like, well, Traveler, we need to protect this town. We need to ensure that nothing ever happens to our fair little town and that we may grow and flourish once again. But in order to do that, we must prep. We must make preparations for a ritual. That will secure the safety of this town. Now it's a, it's just a bunch of smaller quests, but uh, you know because it's so far, you know you're like on one side, like you're over here, right? And the quest wants you to go all the way over here. And because you don't have a fast mount at the time, you have to, you know, and you don't have any flight points or or fast travel unlocked around that area, so you just have to huff it. So you're just going from one side of the zone to the other. So the first one, he's like, oh, I need you to go into this forest and collect uh, 10 luminescent mushrooms. Now, these mushrooms are otherworldly. Even in the sunshine, they glow with this bright radiance. So you go in, you collect your 10 mushrooms, right? Simple enough. You can see where this is going. The next one, he's like, thank you, traveler. I, I believe we have all the mushrooms we need. I need you now to go into the deepest part of the, the forest and inside you will find a cave. And inside that cave, you will find a body of water that has a uh, water that is black as pitch. Take this vial and fill it with that water for me. So you're like, okay, you go to this cave after, you know, and you see like a guardian or, you know, people there like, no, no one must ever touch the liquid in this cave. So naturally, what do you do? You kill them. 
So you go into this cave, get the vial, and uh, you go back. It's like, thank you, traveler. I couldn't do this myself, and it takes someone as strong as you to venture into such a terrible, dark place. Our preparations are almost done. Now we are on the final part. We only need five rabbit brains. So you go into the woods, you slaughter some innocent rabbits, you take their brains, but not just specific. They have to be like a certain size and whatever. Uh, you take them back to the guy and he's like, thank you. These are clearly rabbit brains of the highest quality. We have all the preparations we we needed to do. We can now start this ritual. So, of course, he put some candles on the ground. It's like, oh, click on the candles. Click on the candles. And then one candle, two candle. Yay, completed that. Um, and then it says, scatter the rabbit brains. And you're like, okay, this is a little weird, but it's part of the quest. And hey, I get 10 gold and an item upgrade, right? Um, so you do all that and you get through, but then something goes wrong. Something goes wrong. The ritual doesn't work completely. And the guy's like, oh no, traveler, I forgot there is this one other item we need, but it's going to be challenging to get. And this is one of those quests that send you into like a dungeon where it's like, oh, the final boss gives you what you need, like an orb of, uh, magic dominance or something. Um, but he's like, no, I need you to go into the mansion, the house on the haunted hill. And, uh, inside the master of that, that mansion as an item, uh, it will be most beneficial and will help us complete this ritual. And despite the fact that you just scattered rabbit brains all over the place, you're like, well, I see no reason not to trust him. And you get like a hundred thousand, uh, XP for it. And you get a guaranteed item upgrade because you're looking at it, you're like, oh, huh, these pants. I've been wearing the same pants for the last like 13 levels. This is a real good upgrade. Okay. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. So you go in and get whatever said item is. I don't know. It's a freaking, I don't know, a, 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 a scepter or something. I don't know. But you bring it back to, to Mr. Not-So-Evil Kenneth uh, Sinisterstein. And he's like, at last, we finally have the last bit of, of things we need to perform this ritual. So you have to relight the light, you know, all, everything all over again. Um, and he performs the ritual, and you go, see him go from, like, a uh, green text above him to red. And then all of a sudden, he's like, ha, ha, ha. It was I who caused a catastrophe 10 years ago, and that family was the only thing keeping me at bay, but you slaughtered them, and I owe you my thanks. Now I can ravage these, these lands once more. And you're sitting there like, why do I keep falling for this? The dude's name is Kenneth Sinisterstein. He just asked you to collect water as black as pitch, and he just scattered rabbit brains all over the ground. Clearly, this man is evil. But yet, in you know, in games, you just you have no choice but to help these people, you know. And I would love to see an option where you choose not to. You know, it's like, will you help me, champion? No. But champion, I'm afraid to go out of my own house. Clearly, you must help me. No. But will you not help an old person who just needs needs someone to protect? No. You won't help me, then you will die like everyone else. Aha, I've been evil this whole time. I'm showing you my true colors right now. I mean, but how many of us have gone through quests like that? You know, you know, you, you, you're helping a person who's clearly evil. You're slaughtering innocent people. And, uh, you know, we're doing it for, 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 for rewards. Oh boy, they're giving me, he's like, oh, now you have a dungeon quest. You're going to get 100k XP and like 35 gold for it. And, and you're going to get that item upgrade you need. I mean, why won't, wouldn't you do it? 
I mean, would I lie? But MMOs like like World of Warcraft, think of how many quests in World of Warcraft are just like that. Where you're helping that Oh, I'm so small and fragile, and I'm scared for my life. Ooh. And then at the end, it's like, I'm really evil. Meh. I was the one who destroyed the town. Meh. And you're like, oh my god, I totally didn't see that coming. Super special awesome plot twist. Um... But, I mean, I'm sure you guys have, like, one in particular, um that you remember doing that you know maybe it was when you were younger and you actually were naive enough to believe that these characters with clearly evil names actually were good hello i'm happy mcnicerton and then he turns out to be evil but um yeah if you guys have had those quests let me know which one's the most iconic to you which one you remember the most <laughs> It was me the whole time. You know, he's got the mustache. He can, you know, twirl and all that. Well, you clearly seem evil, but I see no reason not to trust you. I mean, just going in and be like, I need you to murder this family for me. That should be the first giveaway. And then once their colors don't change from green to red or something, that's the other giveaway. And it's like... Water is black as pitch. That doesn't sound like ordinary water. That sounds like crap that's cursed or something. And then he's like, I need you to collect rabbit brains for me. Um, I'll give you 10 gold for it. Okay, I need my mount, so. I mean, it's. Just a few rabbit brains. What could he possibly do with a few rabbit brains? And then the ritual, he's like, ah, scatter the rabbit brains on the ground. You know. And then you have him, you know, you have to fight him, and he's like, I'll be back. I always come back. But that's usually how it starts. Like, oh, the catastrophe ten years ago. And I've been I've been hiding ever since because I've been afraid of what that family might do. And I'm sure as I'm talking, you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember a quest like that. Um, let me know. I mean, I think most like RPGs and MMOs that have like quests like that, you know, quests just in general have eventually have some kind of quest where, you know, you're working for the bad guy unknowingly. Um, so yeah, just let me know your the one that you remember the most. It could be in WoW. It could be in what, like one of the Final Fantasy ones, and it could be, you know, Wizard One Hundred One or whatever. Doesn't matter. There are a lot of MMOs out there, and a lot of them have these quests where you're working for the bad guy, who's clearly evil, like right there in his name, and yet I so knew, I see no reason not to trust him. But anyway, let me know. Anyway, you guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.